All right, guys, Chris Palacios here. Um, this is the video that you've all been waiting for. So I've been getting an insane amount of emails. I probably had about 150, 200 emails literally just on this subject. And the subject is, how did I get Kit to talk? So first of all, <clears throat> still getting over a cold. That's why you haven't seen me for a couple of weeks. And plus I was in LA. So that's a whole nother subject in itself. Um, it was a surreal experience really. So I got to have dinner with Rebecca Holden, which was April from the TV show. And then I got to meet William Daniels again. So I'm gonna make a whole video on that, but I promised a lot of people that I would make this video. Also, while I was in LA, I got a lot of stuff signed by William Daniels. If you know William, he really doesn't sign anything Knight Rider related and he's almost 91. And his wife said this is probably going to be the last time that he does an autograph session. So I thought it would be cool that since this channel is growing, which, oh my goodness, thank you so much for subscribing. I was literally just checking today to see like how fast YouTube's, or YouTube's grow and everything. And we're almost at 3,000 subscribers. And that's literally the top 5% growth in YouTube. So I just want to thank everybody for liking and subscribing. So to say a thank you which I'm not going to be giving away stuff yet about it, but I'm going to be doing a contest to win a autographed William Daniels license plate. It says William Daniels and then it says kit next to it. Got all the pictures and everything and videos to prove that this is actually the license plate that he did sign. So I'm going to be doing a little contest on this channel to give away one lucky viewer will get to have a license plate signed by William Daniels. So once in a lifetime opportunity, if you're a fan of the show, this is what you want in your collection. Or if you have a replica, it's awesome for it. So anyways, thank you so much. So the subject today, how did I get Kit to talk in my replica? So this is something that I went back and forth a long time about if I even wanted to give this information away. So in the car customization world and especially in the Knight Rider world there's things that we don't mind giving away and then there's things that we sort of hold dear to our heart because it was a pain in the butt to figure out so we want to be the only ones to know it so this is one of those things that I struggle with I'm like do I even like tell people how I did it because this is so cool and I only want it in my car um, I was leaning more towards that way but then a little voice inside me said let's share it with the world so that's what I'm gonna do today um, as you know, YouTube, you get paid by subscribers, likes, and views. And I figured, you know what? You guys have helped me out so much that I'm gonna share this stuff by you guys viewing it. I'm just being real with you guys. I get paid, so it's sort of like a win-win situation. And I do wanna urge all the guys, because I, like I said, I have 3,000 subscribers. Um, a couple of my videos have like 250, 3,000, 300,000 views. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe because that puts money in my wallet and it allows me to do stuff to kit. And if you get any info or information out of these videos that you could use for yourself, it'd be great to thank me by subscribing. So that's all I want to say. Um, but yeah, we're going to be talking about how to get kit running in your replica. This is going to be part one of two. Today you will learn how that works. Number two will be how I implement it in my car to get it to work flawlessly. So enjoy the video and subscribe. I am showing you guys just the screenshot of my computer. So if you're on a Mac, the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is up in this top left hand corner where my mouse is, go ahead and hit the Apple and go down to system preferences. So once you're in system preferences, you can go ahead and go down to accessibility. Go ahead and click on that. So this is where like all the magic happens, which is pretty cool. So down in here, we have something that's called dictation. If you go ahead and click on that, it gives you all like the dictation um, commands and everything. So right here, so use dictation commands when you're not dictating by text. So we don't need to do that. And then um, I think we're good right here, dictation command. So this is pretty much what you are going to do to set up Kit talking to you. So let me go ahead and close that. So we're in dictation and go to dictation commands. So this is everything I've programmed. 
So basically, like if I say, are you okay? He's going to respond with whatever, <clears throat> which I don't have it turned on. That's why he didn't respond. So how to set something up is you're going to hit this plus button and it's going to take you to this screen. So this is where I could literally ask Kit any question and he's going to respond with something. So let's say I do like night. Actually, that's probably bad. Um, I'm Chris. So when I say I'm Chris, which I'm just going to be grammar correct there. When I say I'm Chris, what do I want my computer to do? So this can happen when I'm using any application. So that's basically what that is. So I would just go ahead and keep that in any application. And what do I want the computer to do when I say I'm Chris? <clears throat> so I'm going to go down and run workflow. So when I say I'm Chris, I want the computer to go down here. And I can tell my computer to do anything that I want, but I'm going to choose other. And now I'm going to go and when I say I'm Chris, I'm going to pick what phrase I want him to say, which there's really nothing that goes along with that. So maybe I just do that one. I don't understand. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. So now when I say I'm Chris, goes over here, you can be in any application, and then he's going to play that MP3 that says, I don't understand. All right. So I have all of these phrases right here. So that's pretty much it when you're setting it up. So you can just ask him as many questions as you want. You could say, hey, Kit, I'm feeling bad today. And then he can, whatever MP3 file you have will be a response to that. So I'm going to go ahead and press done. So that's pretty much everything right here. So this basically says enable the dictation keyword phrase. When you say computer, he would start listening to whatever that you say. So I don't really use that. But when you go up here, there's a little microphone that when you start the dictation software that goes ahead and starts. So I'm just going to go ahead and close that. So now when I click this microphone, there's a couple different options for me to choose. So I can go ahead and listen without requiring keyword phrase, which is what I want. So I want him to always be listening. And then I could show the dictation commands. So when I show dictation commands, Here's everything that he will respond to. So then I'm going to go up here and listen without requiring keyword phrase. So it's going to beep the first time, but as you see that, oh, I'm in here. I got to go ahead and click out of that because it's just typing. Um, he's listening for everything. So are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I'm nowhere near okay. Most of my functions are out of order and I'm being treated like a side of beef. See? That's awesome. So I can go ahead and do whatever I want and it's working the way it is. So what did we program? I'm Chris. I don't understand. See how this is working? How do I look? Hi, Kit. It's good to hear your voice. Hey, buddy. It's good to hear your voice. So I have that program to do the same exact thing. Um, come get me, buddy. Right away, Michael. So the cool thing about this, so that's how I get him to talk, so you can just fill this whole entire thing up. But if I go ahead and close this out, which I'm just going to try this live. Um, I don't have any of the bugs figured out, really. So if I go over and back to System Preferences and go over to my Accessibility, which, as you can see, I have tons of programs opening. I probably should have stopped that. but And then I go back over to Dictation and then Dictation Commands. So that's how you set it up. So technically... I should be able to press this plus button or
it's going to turn that off for right now. So you should be able to launch anything you want. So say if you had like a video and you have your computer tied up to the screen of your displays in the car, I should be able to go over here, run workflow, go over here, and then choose a video. So I actually do have a video on my desktop. So I'm going to open that. I have no idea if this is going to work. So let's go ahead and turn the microphone back on. Show me a video. So I probably have to tell it to start, but you could sort of see how this could work. Like if you have like the video of the vital signs and you're like, Kit, show me your vital sign or scan my vital signs. He can pop the video up on the screen and that would be awesome. So then you could say, hey, Kit, give me directions or Kit, um, call Devin and he'll do pretty much everything you want. So that's it. That's as easy. As, believe it or not, that took me forever. <laughs> but if you have a Mac, by all means, I'm using a laptop. I just find it better because I already have the laptop. Plus, I don't really want to buy another computer for my car, and it makes it easier to sit on my couch and edit videos. So watch this. I have tons of other things. So this gets Kit to uh, actually talk. The next video I'll do is showing you the different ways I have it plugged in my car and the other microphones that I use to get him to respond. So I could basically be about 500 feet away from the car, ask Kit anything, and he responds. And I could be talking to people at the car show, and anytime that I want Kit to respond, I could just say something to him, and boom, right away. So hopefully this video helped you out, and that's it. So leave comments below. Subscribe, please, 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 please. Let's get this thing to 100,000. All right, later.